Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I thought I would talk through some of my full winter must-haves and favorites. So these are things that I've been loving and using, I would say from like mid-September to now, but also some of these are things that I've been loving for the last two years. And I thought this would be a good video to do because I do a lot of videos talking about the new things that I have and showing new things that I've bought, but I thought it'd be nice to do a little roundup of some of my favorites. These are things that I've been really enjoying this full winter. So this video is going to have a mixture of some fashion, beauty, skincare, and home stuff. And I have quite a lot to get through. So you might wanna grab yourself a drink for this video. I'm gonna get straight into it and I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite segments, which is handbags so i have two bags that i would say i have been loving so much and these are kind of my go-to full winter handbags and i'm starting off with the bottega jody this has been one of my most used bags i got this for my birthday last year in november and since then i have used it non-stop i love using this for travel or just for day to day it fits so much in it and it goes with every single outfit it's just this really lovely slouchy leather bag it fits in the shoulder really nicely and this is the perfect full winter bag because when you're wearing big knits and big coats, you need a shoulder bag that is actually wide enough to fit over the shoulder. Because I find that during winter, some of the shoulder bags don't actually fit over my shoulders because they're obviously not long enough. But this is a great one for putting over your shoulder. I love the slouchiness of it. And also it's a black bag and black for full winter is obviously just perfect. Darker colors is what I tend to go for in full winter. And this, I would say, is just the perfect all-round bag. I absolutely love this bag. It just fits so much, and it is just the perfect go-to bag for so many different occasions. And then the second bag that I've been wearing so much is my Vintage Kelly 32. I wear this bag so much. I think I've had this bag for around two and a half years now. And as soon as it gets to full winter, when it starts getting darker and colder, I find myself reaching for this bag a lot. I think one of the reasons is just because it is that big black kind of classic bag. I wear a lot of black when it gets colder and I just tend to go for darker colors, as I said, for the Bottega Jody. So kind of the same reasons for the Bottega, but this is a bit more of a structured bag. So I think the reason the Bottega and this one are my top two full winter bags is because you have one slouchy, really casual, relaxed one but then you have the more formal structured bag. And I really love wearing this with some baggy jeans and a jumper. I love that juxtaposition between wearing something that's really casual paired with a really structured bag like this. I love the Kelly in general because of the strap that it has, which makes it really easy to wear. Again, over coats, like I said, when you have your chunkier knits and your chunkier coats, it's quite nice to have a bag that you can actually pop over the shoulder. And what I love about this is that I can have it top handle when I want, but then if I get tired of holding it or I want to be hands-free, I use this strap so much. So I think that's why the Kelly is also probably my preference over a Birkin. It's actually really easy to get into as well. I just keep the bag like this and you can pop in and out of it. It fits so much and it actually doesn't really get that heavy compared to the back in 35. I also really love that the leather, this is in box. It's very hard wearing. I've used this bag so much and it doesn't look like it's been used as much as it has been. And considering this is a vintage bag, it just looks perfect every single time. So this for me is one of my top full winter bags. Next up, fragrance. I absolutely love fragrance and I do find that Throughout the year when the seasons change, I also change up the fragrances. So I have two of the top fragrances that I've been reaching for this full winter. And I'm gonna start off with the first one, which is the Byredo 1996 fragrance. I spoke about this in a previous vlog and I've really been enjoying this scent. It's a unisex scent and I'm gonna read out the notes for you because it's better to read out the notes, let's see. So this has notes of black pepper, juniper berries, leather accord, violet, black amber, patchouli and vanilla. I love anything that has patchouli and vanilla. I also think the leather really makes it feel like a warm, wintry scent. It really feels like full winter. It's very warming. It's got this slight sweetness to it. It's just a very beautiful scent and I love that it's unisex so you can share it with your partner or share it with whoever you want. And actually, funny story, so I actually never smelled this scent. I actually picked the scent out without smelling it because I was doing a campaign with Liberty and I was choosing a fragrance. And when you're picking out your selects, it's often online. And I wanted to pick out a fragrance and then I saw the Byredo 1996 and I thought, 96 is my birth year. 
I'm gonna pick this fragrance and hopefully it smells good and actually it smells so great. So I picked this based on the name 1996 and actually it's ended up being one of my top fragrances. I also really love the aesthetic and the bottles of Byredo and I think that's part of a fragrance. When you're buying a nice fragrance, you also want the bottle to look nice. And this is such a lovely decor piece. I actually have the Byredo Bal de Freak, which is sat here as like a decor piece. This is one of my favorite summer fragrances. This is more of like a fresh scent. I know we're talking about winter, but this is a really good one for summer. Second fragrance has to be an Initio one. You guys know Initio is my top, top, top fragrance brand. My favorite fragrance brand in the whole world, I would say. Um, and this is Initio Oud for Greatness. I actually stole this from True's desk because this is True's one, but I'm the one who introduced him to Initio. So anything Initio is also mine. Um, what I love about Initio is the fragrances are also very unisex. And I am someone who loves like an Oudi scent, but what is great about Initio is their Oudi and sweet scents and they last so long. This is one of my most complimented fragrances. Actually, most of my Initio fragrances, anytime I wear them, I'll get compliments on my smell. It lasts so long. It's the kind of scent where when you hug someone, they will smell it. And it's also one of those scents where even after you shower, you can still smell the scent. So I'm gonna read the notes out for you. Natural Oud Wood, Agar Wood Oil, Lavender, Saffron, Patchouli and Musk. There's definitely a theme with patchouli because 96 had patchouli in it as well. I didn't know there was lavender in this. That's a that's a note that has like thrown me off. I, w I can't smell the lavender, but maybe that's what helps with the sweetness. It also smells very different on people. So it smells very different on me and it smells very different on True. True thinks that it smells better on him. I think I would have to agree, it actually does smell better on him, but it is a really, really great scent and I absolutely love this. On to the next topic, which is clothes. Believe it or not, this is probably the longest list of my fashion favorites. Not fashion favorites, of my favorites. Obviously, because I'm a fashion girly, so the clothes list is gonna be the longest. Okay, I'm starting off with, which if you are a regular viewer, you will not be surprised to see a caped cardigan featured in this video. Now, I just feel like it wouldn't be a Nuri video without a caped cardigan feature. I really feel like they are worth the money for me, which is why I have five different colors of them. I get so much use out of them. I think for me, the cost per wear is definitely worth it because I find myself grabbing one of the five colors at least once a week, you will see me in a cake cardigan. The thing that makes the cake cardigans so amazing is the thick cashmere material. The cashmere quality for cake is just so incredible. It's so thick that actually sometimes you don't even need to wear a coat. And I think that's why I get so much use out of my cake cardigans because I almost wear them as a coat. If we're in autumn and it's not a very cold day, you can get away with just wearing this. But then it's also a really great layering piece and there really isn't a fit like the Kate Cardigan. I've seen so many dupes. I actually have a, a dupe to share with you that I love, but there's still nothing that compares to the look of a Kate Cardigan. And it's one of those pieces that people instantly recognize. Like if you know, you know. I wore this twice this week and actually at the lunch that I was at, the girl that sat next to me said, oh, is that the Kate Cardigan? And it's just, there's not many pieces of clothing that don't have branding that you can kind of tell what brand it is. But Kate is one of those brands where you can actually really tell what the brand is because of how unique the shape is and the quality of it is amazing. So yeah, I had to feature this one. This khaki one is the newest addition to my collection. I got this for Fashion Week back in September and I have worn it so much. I think the color is so perfect. This is the perfect color for if you're someone who just loves a neutral wardrobe. I think khaki is considered neutral, but if you're someone who just wears like black and grays, this is a great way to start wearing color because it is a beautiful, tonal autumnal color and i think it just suits everyone and then next up since i was talking about the cake cardigan we're going to talk about the dupe that i was speaking about earlier so this is a cardigan from the brand called arch 4 which i discovered on netta porter so this is a 100 percent cashmere cardigan it has the buttons going down and it isn't as structured as the cake cardigan but it does have some kind of structure to it and it just sits really beautifully it also has the two pockets at the front, which is super sweet. And if you watched the Dolomites vlog, you would have seen that I actually wore this cardigan quite a bit. It's a great layering piece. I love wearing this with a tank top underneath. So I wore my Loewe tank top. I had this cardigan and then I put a coat on top. And it's so nice when you just get a glimpse of 
the red peeking through. So as we all know, red is the color of the season and this is a great piece for adding a touch of red to your outfit. I basically wore a mostly neutral outfit and this was the only bit of red that you could see, but it really adds a nice festive touch. The quality of the cashmere feels really nice. It's not as thick as the cape, but it is a really nice thickness to it and it does keep you very warm. And I love that you can just wear this as a kind of sweater on its own. If you button it up, you don't have to wear anything underneath, but then you can also just wear it as a cardigan, have it open, or just layer with another tank top underneath. And then I have a, another jumper. Obviously there's gonna be lots of knitwear. This is a full winter favorite. This is from Source Unknown and actually I'm wearing the brown version of it here. I had to pick this up in all the colors that it came in. So I have the cream version, the chocolate brown version, and then the gray version. I wore this in my last vlog and I really love this knit. It's super thick. And I just love the fit of it and how it just sits on your body. I wore this the other day when I went to a Louis Vuitton Claridge's Christmas tree unveiling. I wore this with some gray trousers and I really love how you can dress this up or just wear it really casually. Um, and what I really love about this is, I'll show you because I'm wearing the piece now. You can actually wear it in different ways. You can have it sat like this. So the neck is higher and it's kind of like asymmetric like that, or you can, pull it down so it's just an off the shoulder jumper and I really love the thickness of this. The sleeves are also super long so it just creates a really nice like bagginess to it. You just see this kind of ruching which is what I really love and I picked up three colours because Source Unknown, I think I think it's a Korean brand. Because I was doing a big international order, I thought I might as well just get all three colours because I think I'm going to love this and really I do love them. So. Have to share this, it does really keep you warm because it is so thick. Like I was sweating in this at the Louis Vuitton event. I've really been enjoying wearing these. I think they're just a great piece to wear with jeans, with skirts, with trousers. They kind of do all the talking for you, which is what I love. Another knitwear piece, I think this is the last knitwear piece, um, is this jumper from Lily Silk that I've been enjoying so much that I just noticed I have foundation marks on the neck of this. This needs to be, good, be sent to the dry cleaners. This is 100% cashmere knit and this is just so warm and fluffy and cozy. And I love how it has this kind of texture to it that you can see. I think it just makes it look a little bit more different. This really reminds me of the totem fluffy white jumper that is like very popular and what i love about this is that it's quite a thin knit which is really nice for autumn because sometimes you don't really need a thick knit if it's not too cold it's a great layering piece i like to wear this with a white t-shirt underneath sometimes you can see the white peeking through i think my favorite thing about this is just how soft it is i love the sizing of it i have this in a size large because i love an oversized jumper but this is so nice just to throw over with jeans if you don't know what to wear i've just been grabbing this i think i've been wearing this too much that i need to send it to the dry cleaners i think i still have a discount code with lily silk so so if I do, I will leave it in the description box down below. And then for bottoms, there have been two bottoms that I have been wearing so, so much. I think you guys can probably already guess them. First one being my Ray jeans. Honestly, I need a collaboration with Ray. Like we need to do a Nuri X Ray collaboration because I am a Ray diehard fan. I love everything they do so, so much especially these jeans. So I have these in the black and the blue and I've worn them so much. I actually first bought them, I think it was March or April when we were going to Japan. And since then they have become a staple part of my wardrobe. And for full winter, I have noticed that I've been grabbing the black ones a lot more just because obviously as we go into full winter, you tend to go for darker colors and a black pair of jeans is always a staple in my full winter wardrobe. If you guys used to watch me from like when I first started YouTube, you would never catch me in jeans. And now I'm like a jeans lover. So actually I would say this year it has become a part of my full winter staple wardrobe. I absolutely love styling these with jumpers, this with my Kate cardigan buttoned up, this with that Lily Silk knit just over the top with a white t-shirt underneath. I wore these jeans when we were traveling to the Dolomites. I wore these with a white t-shirt and then I had the Lily Silk jumper over the top. And I used to be that person that would look at people in the airport and be like, oh my God, how are they wearing jeans to the airport? Because jeans for me are like the most uncomfortable thing ever. But these are just so baggy and so comfortable that they do not feel like you're wearing jeans. And I think that's why I wear them so much. I just love the whole bagginess of them. They're like this low mid rise, just really comfortable pair of jeans. And I love them so, so much. And they're just so easy to style. Another thing, which is no surprise, is of course going to be a black maxi skirt. 
This has also become part of my kind of uniform. A black maxi skirt is my go-to when I don't know what to wear, especially for an event. This with a top and you're sorted. This is what I wore with my cake cardigan for the lunch event I was talking about. I wore this with a black Skims bodysuit, my cake cardigan, and then I belted it up. Again, I think this is just for me a really easy piece that you can style, you can dress it up and dress it down. It's just very comfortable. In particular, I really like the Frankie Shop one. Um, I feel like it's very well made and I like that it has the belt loops in it because adding a belt to a black maxi skirt really helps to elevate it. So yeah, this is another piece that I've been really enjoying. Okay, next up, it's really random, but tights. I love tights. I also feel like tights are an essential and they, they're not really a trend, but I've seen this year tights being worn a lot more compared to previous years. And I feel like maybe it's partly because of Saint Laurent, like they're very, tights heavy in their campaign imagery with their skirts, they use a lot of tights. And I think tights are just a really nice addition to an outfit. Like sometimes you don't necessarily need to wear tights because it's not that cold, but they just add a nice texture and element to an outfit. For me, I wear them for warmth and because I actually do think they make an outfit look nicer. And these are a pair that I got recently from Wolford. So I really love Heist tights. I think I've spoken about them before. They're one of my favorite, favorite tights brands, but I'd recently run out of them. I think they've just gone missing. I don't know where they are, but I've had some pairs from like three years ago. That's how good they are. And I needed a pair of tights for next day delivery. So I went to, on to Nest Porter and um, Wolford was one of the only brands that I saw that looked kind of similar to Heist tights in that they have this really nice firming top high-waisted structure, which is very important for me with tights. I always want it to be high-waisted. And because they do the next day delivery and I needed it for next day, I ordered these and thought I'd give them a go. And actually I've been really enjoying these. These are the Dernier 20 and these are like the tummy control tights. And they're actually really nice because I feel like they just give you a smoothing kind of figure. Like if you're wearing a tight fitting dress and you have this underneath, it just moves everything out and it just feels like it holds you in place which is really nice the quality of them is really good you don't feel like they're going to rip when you're putting them on sometimes with cheap tights you have to be so careful when putting them on because they feel like they'll snag i don't know how they do it but it's really good because they're 20 dernier so they're not super thick they have that nice sheer look to them but they're very sturdy and they feel very good so shout out to these wolford tights i've really been enjoying them and then next up i have two coats to talk about First up is this Totem Sherling coat. I think this is two and a half years old. And I remember when I was first buying it, I was like, oh, should I? It's very expensive for a coat. How much wear am I gonna get out of it? And I found that for the last few years, I've been bringing this out and I've been wearing it nonstop. It is so warm, so well made, and just so beautiful. I really feel like this is a classic piece that I'm going to have in my wardrobe forever. It is very timeless, and I know I've seen a couple of dupes from brands like Mango and Marks and & Spencers, but then you can always tell, like the dupes look great, but then I feel like with certain things, you can always tell when it's the real deal or not. And this totem coat is one of those pieces where it's just like, you know when it's a totem coat. I really love how the inside has this kind of leather lining. It's this really soft leather lining inside, which really, really keeps you warm. It's super soft. It has pockets, which you can actually use and they're quite, oh, I just found a hairband. You can actually use them and they're quite spacious and deep, which is really nice. And then you close it with the clasp like this. I think the first time that I shot this coat was when we went to New York. I'll put the pictures here because I love those pictures so much. We were doing a walk through Central Park. I put the coat on and I just felt so amazing. The whole outfit was basic. I was wearing a mini skirt, my toe tan boots, but the coat really just makes your whole outfit. And I think there's a theme here with me having pieces that kind of like that one piece that does your whole outfit for you and for me this coat is that if i'm not sure what to wear i can wear an all black outfit underneath and this coat will do all the talking for me i also really like investing in coats when it comes to full winter because you'll find that coats are actually the one thing that you see of your outfit when it gets cold you could wear the most amazing thing underneath, but most of the time you will have your coat on and that's the one thing that's gonna be seen. And also a coat is meant to keep you warm. So you want to invest in good materials that will actually keep you warm and in good shapes and styles and pieces that will be timeless. And for me, I think this has really proven to me that this is a piece that I'm going to be bringing out every year. It keeps me warm. It's so beautiful. It just looks like one of those vintage Sherling coats and I love it so much. I'm actually thinking about getting the brown one. I'm gonna have a picture of the brown one. Let me know if I should get the brown one. Also guys, I am gonna return those Todd's ballet flats. 
you guys in the comments. There was a mixed amount of comments, but I would say like 80% of the comments were telling me to return the Todd's flats. And um, yeah, I think, especially when I was so unsure and then that many people were telling me to get rid of them, I think I will be returning them. But let me know if I should get the brown version of this coat because I've worn this so much and I think the brown just gives a different vibe. So next up we have a very practical but still very stylish coat. And this is the Canada Goose Cropped Puffer. Now I have worked with Canada Goose, I think since last year I've been working with them. And prior to that, I'd never actually owned a Canada Goose puffer, but really I've seen since wearing them, there is no other puffer like them. They keep you so, so warm. We've traveled to Aspen with them. I've worn the Canada Goose puffer in Aspen. We went to Sweden with them. I've been in super cold climates and I've always taken a Canada Goose with me and it's always kept me so warm. And I really love this one because I've been actually after a cropped puffer, just to be a bit more stylish when you're wearing a puffer sometimes, they're not like the nicest looking things, but I feel like a black cropped puffer is just very cool and stylish. So this is a new one that I was sent because I'm working with them again. This is not part of the campaign. I just really want to do a shout out to Canada Goose. I think they do the best puffers ever come full winter and I will be wearing this one a lot. Another feature that I really love about them is that inside they have I think other puffer brands do this as well. They have this strap, which means if you're out shopping or around about, you have your coat on, but you're feeling really hot, you don't have to then take your coat off and just hold it and be carrying it around the whole day. You can just have the straps on your shoulders and then the coat hanging off. True does that quite a lot when we're out shooting campaign, he'll be wearing his puffer, but then he gets a bit warm and he'll just have the straps hanging off his back. I really love that feature. And I think it's also removable. So if you don't want that, you don't have to have it, but you can't feel it when you have it on. So I just leave it on. This particular puffer, the Canada Goose logo is in black. So this is just a fully black puffer, which is really nice because it's just very subtle. And yeah, I really love this. I hate being cold. The feeling of cold is the worst thing ever. So for me, this is the best thing. It's my best friend during winter. If I'm going to the gym, if I'm going for a walk, I will always be wearing my Canada Goose puffer. The so next up we're doing skincare and I'm starting off with my favorite Aquaphor. When it gets to full winter, our lips get dry and chapped and you need to keep them moisturized and Aquaphor is your girl. It is the best lip balm in the world. I will stand by that statement. I have very sensitive lips. I found out, I think five years ago when I used this Rogue lip balm, uh, my lips flared up. It looked like I got lip filler. They were just really big and really irritated. And I tried so many different things that pharmacists had recommended to me. Nothing was working. I discovered Aquaphor and this was the only thing that helped my lips. And since then, I haven't really used any other lip balm. I'm very cautious as well when using different lip balms because I've noticed that when I try a new lip balm, sometimes my lip does flare up and it gets really itchy and I'm like, damn, we've got to wipe that off and put the Aquaphor on. So yeah, Aquaphor is that girl. She is with me everywhere. I have one in my bag, one in my car, one in my bathroom, one in my travel bag. There's always gonna be an Aquaphor somewhere. I can't live without Aquaphor. And it's also a lip balm that you just put on, I put on in the morning and in the evening, you don't need to reapply it so much because it is that good. It really does just keep your lips feeling soft and nourished. My favorite is the, the skin balm version, which comes in a tube like this. I found that they had a small lip tube version, which is really great for when you're traveling. You don't want to use your fingers to apply, but I think the formula is slightly different. I prefer the formula of this one compared to that, but this is still great. So this is good for when you're traveling. You don't want to use your fingers to apply. This is really good. Speaking about lips and being sensitive, I recently got sent the Rode lip balms and I was really intrigued to try these out because there's so many lip balms, lip glosses. What are these called? Yeah, they call them the peptide lip tint. There's so many different things out there and I'd seen the hype around these. So I was curious to try these, especially me being an Aquaphor girly. And I can say I actually have been really enjoying these and they haven't irritated my lips, which was my number one concern. But I think for me, my favorite is the tinted ones because if I'm going for like a clear, if I just want something to nourish my lips, I'll usually use my Aquaphor. But I did get sent the um, salted caramel one and it actually tastes so good. Like it smells so good and tastes so good. The normal like non-tinted one is great if it's the flavored one because it just smells incredible. And then the tinted ones I really like. This is toast and raspberry jelly. I actually have toast on my lips right now. I'm gonna reapply some. It's a really nice like pinky. This is toast. I obviously have lip liner on, but oh, it's also not flavored. Is it flavored? No, it's not flavored, but they're really nice. And this raspberry one is really nice if you wanna go for like 
a burgundy autumnal dark lip. I've really been enjoying this. So yeah, for me personally, these lip tints do live up to the hype. Okay, let's talk about actually like the skin, the skin on your body. And obviously that gets dry, but for me, I'm dry all year round. But when it comes to full winter, I'm like extra dry. I'm that person that needs to moisturize my body every single day. Someone like True on the other hand doesn't need to moisturize his body every day and he's very blessed to not be able to have to do that. But for me, as soon as I step out the shower, I need to put some kind of moisturizer on. So I've got two that I wanna talk about. First one is my OG favorite. This is the Nivea body lotion, but it has to be the 48 hour intense moisture. That is the one you have to get. You have to be specific with the one you get because they have bottles that look the same, but they don't do the same thing. I really love this. This is so nourishing. It really keeps your skin moisturized. It feels like your skin is being moisturized. It doesn't blend that easily, but I think, well, I mean, it's not bad, but I think because it is so moisturizing, it is like a bit of a thicker consistency, but it really does keep your body moisturized. I also feel like it actually gives your body like this glow. In the summer, I just use this on my legs and people ask me what is making my skin glow. And most of the time it is this Nivea body lotion. And then I also have this, which is a different consistency. It's also a bit more pricier. This is the mother body butter, but it's like a balm. So you take a bit off like that and then you melt it into your skin. And this is another one that really gives your skin such a beautiful glow, but this is super thick. Like it really, it almost makes you hot when you wear it. I'm gonna just put some on my legs because I've got, I've just put enough on my shoulders. Also smells so good. My mom bought this after, I think I did, I think it was a video last year or earlier this year, I did a video talking about this and my mom was like, I had to buy it. She was like, it was expensive, but I saw the glow it gave you and I had to buy it and she loves it so much. It's super thick. So this I use, I don't use on a daily basis, but I'll use maybe once to twice a week when I feel like my skin feels really dry and it really needs that extra moisture. I like to use this after the shower and it really kind of locks in the moisture in your skin and it like warms you up. I feel like it just adds another layer to your skin. It's really bizarre, but I really, really enjoy this. And a little goes a long way. So the, although it is pricey, you don't need to use a lot. Like I still have quite a bit left and I don't use it every single day. It's also great if you only want to use it in certain areas of your body, or if you want to give a part of your body a glow, you don't have to use this on your full body. So you can go in with your Nivea moisturizer and then just top up in certain areas with this one. Okay, next up we have SPF because SPF is not just for the summer. SPF is for all year round. When I had a skin analysis at Prada Beauty, the lady told me that I had no sun damage. Like it was very minimal, if any. And that goes to show that SPF is working. I wear SPF every single morning, even if it is dark and gloomy outside, if it's raining, if it's cold, it doesn't matter because you need to protect your skin. This is the holy trinity of SPF. And I've spoken about, I think all three of these brands previously before. These really are tried and tested. These are like my fifth, sixth, seventh, tenth bottles of these. I go through these like, what's the expression? I don't know. Is it like water, butter? I don't know. Anyway, I go through these a lot. What I love about these SPFs is that they are invisible. So they don't leave any cast on your skin and they also work perfectly under makeup. So for example, the Beauty Pie SPF, this is a really invisible one. This is a UVA UVB SPF 50. It's a sunscreen and a primer. So this one works so nicely under makeup. It gives your skin another layer of like moisture and then your makeup just sticks really nicely to it. So I love using this in the summer. I don't use it so much now because I don't think I need an SPF 50, but this is a great one for when it's summer and I need a good SPF that's really easy to apply, just absorbs really nicely into skin. I love this. And then this is one that I've been using more for for winter. This is a Lancaster Sun Beauty Nude Skin Sensation SPF 30. It's invisible. It comes with a pump, so it's just really easy to pump out and apply onto your face. It doesn't have a smell or it does it. Oh, it does have a smell. It's like a, it just smells like summer. It has that summer scent and really nice on my skin. Doesn't cause me to break out or irritate and works really nicely under makeup. And then when I'm feeling more fancy, because this is more of an expensive one, this is the Evidons SPF 50 Total Shield SPF. I really, really love this one. It's got a very high price tag attached to it, but it is so beautiful. It's made in Japan. I think out of I can't pick a favorite. It's like picking your favorite child, but this is really, really, really so luxurious. You get why it's expensive when you use it. It feels so luxurious to apply. The smell is amazing. It smells like a spa. 
it goes onto the skin so beautifully it is so invisible i really really love this um the ingredients they use in their products for Everdons are really good ingredients um they use water from the thermal springs in france they use ingredients from japan it's made in japan and they want to use the best skincare ingredients you can get made in the best labs so this is a really nice one that i like to use i like to go between these two when it comes to winter i think when my skin feels really dry i'll go in with this one but yeah all three of these are amazing and then lastly for the skincare segment i have to talk about this current body led face mask i did recently do a ad with them for their black friday sale but i have been using this i would say for the whole month of november and this has been a game changer in my skincare routine for me especially for the breakouts so this is meant to improve your skin texture improve fine lines it's clinically proven to reduce your wrinkles in four weeks it's an led face mask super easy to use i love how easy this has just fitted into my skincare routine so after i do my serum i pop this on i put it on for 10 minutes the red light goes on i just sit on my bed on my phone when i'm done i do the rest of my skincare and for me, the biggest difference I've seen is the reduction in breakouts, especially in the side of my face. I noticed I would constantly have one spot there, no matter what, like one would be the minimum, but I would always have spots on the side of my face. And I was trying different things, different treatments, and I don't know why my skin was always breaking out. And since using this, I actually haven't had any, I haven't changed anything else. My diet has been the same, skincare routine has been the same. And I think it's this because this helps to reduce inflammation of the skin. And I just think the general radiance of my skin, it just gives my skin a glow. So yeah, shout out to this. It is pricey, but I think it's one of those devices that is really worth it because once you have it, it's yours forever. And you sometimes have to pay maybe the same price to go into a clinic to get the same treatment. But when you have this, it's your, yours to have and do whenever you want. And it's also the strongest LED face mask available on the market. So that's why I really like this. If my discount code still works, I will leave it linked down below. Also, I just remember this is a winter favorites video. So why this is especially amazing for full winter is that I feel like when it comes to full winter, for a lot of people, your skin does become more sensitive, more rough and dry. I find that your skin problems are probably the worst in winter. For me anyway, I find that during the summer, my skin is great. It's the best it can ever be. But when it gets to the colder months, my skin does tend to suffer. And I feel like something like this is what really helps to maintain and keep that glow of the skin and keep your skin just feeling great. That's the reason why it's in my full winter favorites, but I think this is gonna be like a all year round favorites because I'm not gonna stop using this. Okay, this video is a really long video guys because I'm getting pins and needles now because I'm sitting on the floor. If you didn't get yourself a drink at the start of the video, you might wanna get yourself one now because I still have more to get through. I think it's because also I don't do favorites video very often. So when I do them, I take them very seriously and I make sure to think through what I've been using a lot and these I have been. So now we're going on to this segment of shoes. I love shoes and these boots, I have been loving so much these last few months. These are from Zara. And when I saw these in Zara, I was like, I need to get them ASAP because I knew they would sell out so quick because they are absolutely stunning. They're giving the Givenchy Shark boots, but obviously for a fraction of the price. I actually also prefer these to the Givenchy Shark boots. I just think these look more clean and more chic. These are sold out on Zara at the moment, but I have seen a couple of brands do similar styles so I'm going to link them down below and there's also some really nice brands like Gia Borghini they're a bit pricier but they're for real leather and they're so beautiful I think I might get them in a different color I'll put a picture up every time I've worn these someone random has come up to me and told me how great my boots are and I agree I think it's just because they are so different with this like fold over but I, what I really love about these boots specifically is the fact that the heel is actually not very high but you would never know because it's covered by this leather piece it kind of looks higher than what it actually is but they're like a kitten heel so they're so comfortable to walk in i walk i actually walk in these and i don't really like to walk in heels but these boots i do walk in i love how wide this calf area is it just makes your legs look really slim um so yeah i've just been wearing these boots a lot they're so great i love knee-high boots for winter but these have been my favorite. For sneakers, we have the Adidas Sambas. They look a bit worse for wear. I've had these since our trip to Japan, which is in was in March or April. They are so comfortable to walk in. Very, very comfortable. They're my go-to shoes that I can just slip on and slip out. They also go with everything. They go with loads of outfits. They're very cool. 
I recently bought the Adidas Wells Bonner one. Um, put a picture of those because I knew how comfortable these were. I knew I'd get lots of wear out of those. I also bought a black pair of these at the same time I got these and I don't know where they are. I need to find them because they've gone missing. But I love these and I think these were hard to get when I first bought them. So I had to buy them on Farfetch for like double the price of what they are. But I think they do come into stock more frequently on Adidas. So I'll link these below where I can find them. I just find them very comfortable and for me, comfort is always key. And then for heels, the Gucci slingbacks. I have loved wearing these so much. And I think these are the perfect full winter heels because of the tones. I love this kind of beige brownie tone. I find it goes with a lot of my outfits. They're also very, very comfortable. I love to be comfortable. This heel height for me is like the perfect heel height, but they also don't rub on your feet. I didn't need to break these in. They're super comfortable to walk in. I love the shape of these, this kind of like square toe. They go with so much of my outfits. This with my Kate, the brown camel color cardigan is just so beautiful. But yeah, I think for full winter, I wear these a lot just because they are in those autumn colors. They're so comfortable and your toes are covered so you don't have to worry about your feet being too cold. Obviously you're not gonna wear this when it's snowing and it's really cold outside, but from the days when it's like a sunny autumn day, you can get away with wearing these. Talking about the sunny autumn days, when it comes to full winter, I feel like people don't really think about buying sunglasses when it's full winter, but actually the sun comes out a lot during full winter. And I find in London, it comes out more than when it's actually summer because when we have summer, it's just like really humid and hot. But when it gets cold, it's freezing cold, but you have the sun shining. So you actually do need sunglasses. And I have been wearing my new sunglasses. I only just got these for my birthday. I shared them in the last birthday haul, but I've been wearing them ever since. These have been the only glasses really that I've been wearing and I love them so much. I just think they're so, they're just so cool. These are like the Hailey Bieber sunglasses. I love the shape of these. They're just so sleek. They're very comfortable. I'm very fussy with my sunglasses. Um, because I have a beautiful pair of Chanel ones that are so heavy. I don't ever wear them. You probably haven't seen them either because they're so heavy and they hurt my nose. So for me, it's really important when a pair of sunglasses looks good, but also just feels very comfortable to wear. The plastic is a really nice sturdy plastic, but it's not too heavy that it feels uncomfortable. Um, and it also just has the Saint Laurent writing on the side, which is really nice. Just very simple and chic and I've been wearing these loads. We're almost done now. I'm onto the last category, which is like home, lounging kind of stuff. I'm gonna start off with a bathrobe. I'm always wearing a bathrobe in my vlogs. I basically live in them. They're just so comfy and cozy, and especially when it's winter and it's cold. When I wake up in the morning, I need to put a bathrobe on straight away. It's like wearing a blanket to get out of bed because I'm just always so cold. And actually, I'm sharing this one because this is a Ralph Lauren bathrobe, and I actually bought this for True. So this is True's bathrobe. I bought this for his birthday last year and I have so many bathrobes, but I always grab his one because I realized all of the bathrobes that I buy myself have been white or the bathrobes that I get gifted are always in white because just the white bathrobe is so pretty. It's not so pretty when you're wearing a bathrobe and you're doing your makeup in a bathrobe and your makeup gets on it. It just looks so dirty and grimy. And then when you put it in the wash, it doesn't always come out so white. So I've actually found that I love wearing this one because my makeup can go on it, but you won't really see it as much. And obviously I put it in the wash, but when it comes out of the wash, it doesn't look grimy or like this off-white color. It still looks like it's navy bathrobe. I also find that I prefer the fit of a men's bathrobe. It's more oversized. They also make it in like a thicker material because I guess they don't really care about the style of it as much as the women's bathrobe. So yeah, I really love this bathrobe or maybe it's just because I love anything that's true and I just want to steal his things. But yeah, this is great, um, super warm and it's like that towel material. So it's nice to wear after the shower as well. You can just put it on and it kind of just absorbs the excess water, which is nice. Another thing that I've been loving and I love is a heated blanket. This is just from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I hate being cold. I've said it before. And and when I'm at home, even when the heating's on, I can still be really cold. And so a heated blanket is a game changer. Although it is kind of dangerous because when you have a heated blanket, you just don't want to leave the spot you're on. It warms up really quickly. And actually it's great because when the house is cold, but you're just in one room all day, you don't want to put the heating on for the whole house. This is perfect because it warms you up so quick. It warms you up so much to the point where you need to take it off and like air yourself out, which I love. So yeah, this is great. And it's also very soft, it's very fleecy. And you can also wash this. So you just pull out the plug attachment and you can put it in the washing machine. So this has been washed. You can put it in the washing machine as usual and then plug it back in and it's all good to go. So 
This is a really great full winter essential. Also a really great Christmas gift for the person who has everything. If they don't have a heated blanket, get them one. It is life-changing. Another thing that I love is a good pair of pajamas. I think for someone like me, especially when I'm always wearing really nice outfits, when I'm going to lots of events, one thing I love the most when I'm at home is being comfortable and having a good set of pajamas that is super comfortable is my favorite thing. And this is a new pair. It's a new set of pajamas. I don't have the pants to show you because actually I'm wearing them right now. I'm like catfishing you with this jumper because I have pajama pants, the ones for these. I'm wearing them right now. This is a pajama set from the White Company. I really love the White Company for pajamas. They have the softest like jersey pajama sets. They feel really warm. They feel like a second skin on your body, which is what I love. They're just so comfortable. Um, my mum actually got me this uh, for my birthday and it's really pretty because it has like a lace detail to it. I also have a pink pair, like a long sleeved pink pajama set, which looks really worse for wear but i live in it because it's just so comfortable so yeah this is another thing for me that's a full winter central like a full pajama set and then on the theme of like cozy being warm ugg slippers are the best thing ever i got these for my birthday last year and i wear them so much i find that my feet are one of the things that are always so cold so i just slip my foot into these and they warm up so quick so Shout out to these Ugg slippers, they're very comfortable. Although I would recommend if you're getting Ugg slippers to get the ones without the platforms because I found actually the platform ones are hard to walk in but they're so warm, like I don't mind. But if I was to buy another pair, I'd buy the ones that aren't on a platform because especially if you're wearing them for home, you don't really need a platform. Um, but yeah, Uggs are just so warm. They keep your feet so nice and toasty and they're just really pretty. I love wearing these with like, I have like this Lily Silk Cashmere lounge set that I wear. This and this and like I just feel put together at home which is really nice because you're comfy and also just feel good about yourself so yeah absolutely love these but would recommend going for the non-platform versions if you are buying them okay and then this is the last thing guys I, I feel like I've done so much talking this is the last thing for my full winter essentials and this is a good candle we're all here for the cozy vibes I love lighting candles it makes the house feel just so nice and warming and cozy and when you get to full winter that's when you're lighting the most amount of candles and I love a good candle and this is from August and Piers which I really like because it's not a brand that I feel like everyone has and talks about and they make their candles so well like these are ceramic vases well you can use it as a vase after the ceramic candles the aesthetics is so on point the smell is incredible. It smells so good. Like when I first got this and I took it out of the box, I didn't need to light it and the, the room would smell like the scent. So it has cedar wood and patchouli. I really love patchouli, but those are some of the notes in this fragrance. It's also very heavy. And I have recently started lighting this candle and it just makes me so happy. It's just a very beautiful piece to have as a decor piece, but it's also very useful because you can light it up during full winter. It makes the place smell so good. I also have the smaller versions, but I think my favorite is the big one. This is also such a lovely gift. If anyone wants to buy me a gift and they don't know what to get me, I always just tell them to get me candles because I love candles. And they're the things that you use and they go and you just can never have enough candles in my opinion. So I really love August and Piers. I also love that they're a small brand and I love supporting small brands. So yeah, shout out to August and Piers. They make the best candles. They also do incense stick. That is that. That is the end of my full winter favorites. I am going to link everything that I spoke about in the description box down below. And I, if I have discount codes for any of the things I spoke about, I will also put them down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one.